Hey everybody, Michael with the Sky's the Limit Aviation Channel here. In the last video we did, I showed you how to set up a quick two-way point flight plan from KLZU to KMCN. Today I'm going to show you how to set up an approach using the GPS 500 in the Cessna 172. Let's go ahead and get this video started. We're in the Cessna 172 flying down to Middle Georgia Regional Airport, and as you can see from the GPS, we are about one third of the way down. So we're going to go ahead and set up for a GPS approach into runway 31, because the winds are favoring runway 31 this afternoon. Winds are 315 at 11 knots. And what we're going to do is, as we get a little bit closer to the airport, we'll pull the GPS back up, and then I'll show you how to program in that procedure, and then we'll fly it down to the ground. I have gone ahead and paused Flight Simulator for a few minutes because I want to show you how to get into the GPS and access the procedures page. So basically, just hit the GPS icon, pulls up your GPS, you're going to hit the procedures button right here. This pulls up the dialog box. Now to select the different approaches, just hit enter and it'll give you a list of the different approaches. You have the ILS runway 5, NDB, GPS for 5 and 13, GPS for 23 and 31, and you can also fly a VOR approach in on runway 13 and 23. We're going to be flying the GPS 31 approach for this. But I also wanted to show you what the different approaches look like on the map. So basically take the outer scroll ring, we're going to scroll up, I'll show you the ILS runway 5 approach, click enter, and it shows you the transition. You can either get vectors or use a waypoint. We're going to go ahead and back out of that hitting clear, and this shows you the approach into Macon Regional, and then here's the go around procedures right here on the lower left. If you hit procedures again, select approach and scroll down. Here we'll show you the VOR 13. Hit clear to clear that and you can see how to shoot the approach there. We'll come back when we get a little bit closer to Macon and we'll set up the GPS 3.1. And yet another thing I wanted to show you real quick is what our flight path looks in Navigraph charts. I use that for all of my flight planning. So here's Navigraph pulled up and here's our destination airport KMCN, Middle Georgia Regional. And you'll see that I added an extra waypoint and that's the Oscar Tango Golf Uniform Quebec waypoint. That is the transition waypoint that we're going to use to get into runway 3-1 in Flight Simulator, though in reality it's actually Runway 3-2. I'm also going to pull the approach chart up real quick so you can see what we're dealing with. And we are doing the RNAV or GPS in the Runway 3-2. We'll pull the chart up real quick and we'll scroll in on this. And it's really nice that it overlays everything right here on the map. And we're going to make sure that we're going to make our turn in at Oscar Tango Golf Uniform Quebec. But we want to make sure we're at the right altitude. So this is what the approach chart looks like. And when you hit ITVUC India Tango Victor Uniform Charlie, you want to be at 2,600 feet. And then at Echo Mike Bravo India Juliet, you want to be at 2,000 feet. And then you take the 
glide slope down to runway 32. So we're going to descend down to 2600 here pretty soon in the flight simulator when I unpause it, and then we'll go ahead and go from there. Okay, we're getting a little bit closer to Middle Georgia Regional. We're going to go ahead and start down to 2600 feet. And we'll descend at a rate of 700 feet per minute. And once we have crossed over the Cinco waypoint, we'll go ahead and program the approach in. We're just about at the Cinco waypoint, so we're going to go ahead and program the GPS 3-1 approach into the GPS. And we're going to go ahead and select our approach. Scroll down to GPS 3-1 hit enter. We want the Oscar Tango Golf Uniform Quebec waypoint as our transition. Hit enter. We want to go ahead and activate the flight plan. And now the aircraft is going to go ahead and turn on to the flight path to get us to Oscar Tango Golf Uniform Quebec and we'll just maintain our altitude of 2600 feet until we hit that waypoint. Okay, we're two nautical miles from the Oscar Tango Golf Uniform Quebec waypoint. We're going to continue to fly this on autopilot so we'll let the GPS and the autopilot make the turns for us. Once we get lined up on the runway, we'll go ahead and take off the autopilot and we will descend down to 2000 and then we will hand fly it down to the runway. making the turn to the next waypoint. We're going to go ahead and pull back on the power a little bit, start slowing us down. Okay, we started our turn over to runway 31. We're going to pull back on the power a little bit. We have Warner Robins Air Reserve Base off on our left. We've got runway 31 in sight at this time, and we're approaching the Echo Mike Bravo India Juliet waypoint and getting a little bit of turbulence up here and we've reached the waypoint so we're going to pull back on the power i'm going to shut off the gps and turn off the autopilot we're going to go ahead and hand fly down pull back on the power a little bit more i'm going to put in one notch of flaps apologies for the squeaking my flight yoke needs a little bit of lubrication Put in another notch of flaps. Not the most perfect landing in the world, but we're on the ground. Again, this is just an example on how to set up the approach. This is not an actual flight lesson.
And we're off the runway. And that's going to do it for this quick tutorial on how to set up for a GPS slash RNAV approach onto runway 31 at Middle Georgia Regional. I hope you enjoyed this video today. And please make a comment, like, subscribe, share this video if you know it will benefit others. This is Michael with the Sky's the Limit Aviation Channel signing off for this afternoon. Y'all have a great afternoon. Bye-bye now.